Hey y'all, this is I. So I thought y'all might enjoy seeing some of the uh, older and some of the newer of these canoe axes. So this is one of, if not the original canoe axe that I built. So um, this one is the one that I pretty much built the, the dugout canoe that I built. I pretty much made most of it with this one and then some of the other axe models. Um, incidentally, that's not why I named this the Canoe Axe, but um, it happened to work out pretty good that way. So, um, this one, originally they started out with a little bit smaller head. This has about one and three quarter pound head. So the new ones have right at two pounds. So it's quite a bit longer, the, the new axe, the actual head is, and then the bit is quite a bit wider or you know it's about half an inch wider than the original. On these new axes I feel like one thing that I've tried to work on improving is the grip. You got a little bit uh, better grip uh, I feel like and then I've been working on improving the overall forging and getting everything a lot cleaner than I than I used to make them originally. Um, also I've been working on getting the profile more streamlined so when you come up, when you're splitting wood and you come up, you don't have a, a real uh, heavy transition here from the bit to the eye. So with this one, it just kind of flows from the bit to where the eye is. I feel like that kind of flows a little better. Okay, also um, what I do on, on pretty much all the axes is the widest part of the axe is going to be right in here right toward, toward uh, about the middle of the eye. So what that means is when you split into a piece of wood, it's kind of relieved on the back, so you don't tend to get stuck as much. So if you have an axe that is the same square all the way back, it seems like you get stuck a little bit worse. And uh, with these, um, people have commented on that, that it seems like it, it helps not get stuck as bad. And, you know, that's a small thing, but I just thought that's, that's one thing I've been working on. So um, this size is, you know, it's obviously a little bit big for backpacking and that, that type of thing. You're going to be carrying it a lot. But um, it's a great axe for bringing along and being the actual camp axe. You know, bring it in your canoe or put it on your horse or put it in the truck. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Have a good one.